What's up, Jammers? Welcome back. Flavor Flav got nothing on me. What are we doing this week, Ryan? Clock Spring. Oh, Clock Spring. Correct. What's going on? So what are we doing today, Ryan? Oh yeah, so back to that. Um, so guys, we've got an air light on our dash. What kind? A, 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 a lit, lit one. Airbag light. <laughs> and so what we gotta do is... What else do we have? Oh, we have these, uh, these, uh, they call them a D-pad. For you, those of you that don't play Nintendo, this here is a D-pad. Um, and it has an up, down, left, right button and an OK air button. Yeah. And none of those little buttons on the D-pad. I'm basically a gamer. You look me up, <laughs> Old English 82. Uh, I slaughter. Uh, don't work. None of them work. What about the rest of the stuff? All of it else works. Everything else works. The only thing is we got that airbag light and the D-pad does not work. That seems odd. It does, but... We've diagnosed it to where we're almost as much certain as the cylinder being the problem. Really? What percentage would that be? 8%? <laughs> so much better. Much. We're four with the cylinder. So it's like we're, double the I, odds. I, I thought we were two. I think we were two, but. Uh, whatever it was. Who remembers? It was such a horrible <laughs> week. It was a terrible. We just didn't forget. But anyway, so 4% chance that there's something wrong underneath. What is wrong, you think? So the way this works, this here is your clock spring, right? Well, yeah. And if you guys have ever steered a steering wheel before, you know how you can turn the steering wheel all the way around. And yet all your buttons in your dash here still work, and none of the wires crisscross and make you want to jump, jump, daddy rack can make you want to jump, jump. Wait, no, crisscrossed, right? Uh, it's the favorite Flav thing from the beginning. Is oh, the beginning. That was, I was trying to figure out what the reference is. Yeah, Chris I know I'm a, just not so as culturally relevant as you are, Ryan. I mean, <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> so anyway, so you so you think there's uh, something busted up inside of ours to where it's not making that connection Absolutely. to our Nintendo D-pad. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can't put any of the Contra uh, cheat codes in. You know, like up, down, left, right, left, right, up, up, down, down. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. Infinity Lives. Have oh. you ever played Contra? Yeah, I did play Contra. Heck yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what's the plan then? If we're going to replace this, uh, where's it? Where's this piece located, and how do we get to it's it? It's located right here in my hand. Or where's the old piece? The old yeah. piece is hidden in a trove, and we have to take the oracle to the wizard, get the cube cumber, take that to the mole, he'll give us a mushroom, and then we'll get the ore shin. No. The ore shin? It, yeah, it's behind the steering wheel. Oh, we I just, gotcha. We got to take this airbag out. Gotta move a bunch of screws. I mean, I'm pretty much just playing it by ear. And then there's gonna be a big screw in the center because that's probably what keeps this guy from. Uh, so we're gonna try to do all that. So awesome. let's first get we to... need to do is straighten the steering wheel so it's not all cattywampus. All right. Well, let's do that and then we'll start pulling stuff apart. I think this is like a 10 minute job. Alright, so Ryan, we are getting ready to do this, and when I say we, I mean you. What's first? Uh, well, we don't really need this truck on. You don't really want to do this. We probably want to disconnect the battery. Why? So it doesn't have power. Because you're going to pull the airbag out? I mean, I am, yeah. Nice thinking. Where's my handy dandy push rod? You guys remember him? If we remember correctly, we got yeah. to the bottom. So, so how many times are we going to take the airbags out in this truck? As many times as we need to. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. You learned from last time, didn't you? I'm getting, I'm getting smarter. Seems like the airbag comes out easier when you uh, undo the bottom one first and then the sides. Yeah. Seems like it. There it is. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Look at that. So you get the airbag out, and then you uh, unplug this little gray plug. Yeah, this little tiny plug. Now it looks like you have four little uh, Torx bits here. Yeah. So we're gonna take them off, and I'd assume this plate's gonna drop. So, so Torx screws. Torx bits. The, the bits actually on the other side, right? Torx bits. We don't want people to think that we're stupid, Ryan. <laughs> you ain't got there yet. <laughs> ain't nothing. I mean, we have Ryan. We have standards. 
you know. Well, they got lowered for me. What? Everything, all standards get lowered for me. I was a little worried there. I thought I might have stripped it. Oh, don't do that. So that little plate come out. Wow, that's pretty nice. Yeah, and it's basically the plate that the airbag presses into. Oh, so. well, here, let's look at the back of that. That's kind of cool. So, little springs. Yeah, so there you go. So when you're pushing your little Jimmy, when you're pushing your little Jimmy through the hole, he hits that. Sorry, Jay. Really? And that's what allows him to come out. Huh. Wow, I did not realize that. I thought you were pushing on the inside part, so that's really interesting. So we got the the kind of the airbag mounting plate. That's probably what we should call it. Yeah, yeah. And now we got a big torque spit right here in the middle. Yes, and this we is do. Uh, what actually holds the steering wheel to the drive to the steering shaft, I would imagine, right? Yeah, yeah. This is so, what so once keeps we pull it that in out, place. The whole entire wheel should just slide straight out, and especially since all the wiring connects to the clock. What's it called? Clock spring. The clock spring. We should then there shouldn't be any wires to unhook. Well, it, it, once it comes off, there's going to be a harness on the backside because as you see here... Yeah, I think what I'm saying is there's no... Well, maybe there is. I don't know. We'll see. There should be no wires between here and here. Should. Because that's the whole point of the clock string. Yeah, shouldn't be. So just pull... should just disconnect. For all yins... For all you out there that actually watch our content for really clear and concise and practical how-tos, let me go ahead and tell you what side <laughs> torque this is. This, the four that we took out earlier, they're T20s. T so the metal plate is held in by four T20s. Okay. The big boy, the mamma jamma in the middle, is a T50. Now they are not security. Um, torque spits, so you don't necessarily have to have the one with the hole in the middle. Um, a lot of times you do for keys and stuff, but this one you don't, so it's just a T50. Wow, it, it actually is off. And that's all that is. Watch this, guys. Hey, Jason, hold this. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bad movie. So what do you want to show everybody, Ryan? Well, for those of you out there who are very precise like myself and always want to make sure everything's correct and torqued correctly to the right OEM specifications, if you looky here, you see a bar that goes up and down, and then you got a bar in the, notched on this thread here. That's your lineup things. Obviously, these two yellow jokers help too. But no matter what, you want to put those in the same spot and then you're lined up and then you shouldn't have to worry about anything yeah this piece just kind of stays in place mm -hmm. and then what's around it moves right so this this actually rolls with the steering wheel right the whole column so this technically should all be spinning yeah so yeah so this all and then the connection between here and on the inside is how we get the electrical connections i guess so it looks like we got some more torque bits how many yeah we where's the new one so it looks like looks like one two three mm -hmm. and it looks like this would go up in there like this and if you see yeah what's up with that big this plastic? is a lock that's preventing it from spinning oh so that pulls we, out once we get it installed we'll pull this loose all right so the white piece is locking it all together so it's right. not free spinning because you do not want your clock spin spring to free spin because you will damage it 100 percent guaranteed you will damage it if it's free spinning so all right. do not do that So yes. we have uh, four more of these little mamba jammas right Three, there. Three. Yeah, one, two, and one over here. All right, what size are those? They are T8s. Man, we are so helpful. That's it. Well, so this is plugged into this here. Uh huh. And then this harness just comes up in here. So you unplug that and you just pull it out. Nice. So there's the old one. And that one's the old one. Cool. 
And this is very common for these to go bad in accidents where the airbag deploys. Yeah. Usually a pretty guarantee. Yeah. I mean, if you remember back a few episodes, we pulled on the whole steering column and it telescoped out and it felt like it was stuck. So we think that might have been some of it too. Yeah, and I think if you look at it, you could see, like, this is awful wear. Got a lot of wo 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 um, wear on it. Really? That shaft? Yeah, I mean, shaft? there's notches on it from where it looks like, it looks like maybe when it got hit, the guy took the wheel forward with it, you know what I'm saying? I bet that's what happened, because we had to pull it in reverse yeah. to get it out, right? Yeah, yeah, so I think it was such a massive hit that when he's, whenever the accident happened, they bam, and it rotored up that shaft. Yeah. They bammed. I don't like it when people they bam. You know? Well, we reached out to the owner, and man, we'd love to hear back from him. He's probably might be interested in seeing these videos of his truck come back to life. Kind of cool. Yeah, I think it would be. You're trying to be really gentle, aren't you, Ryan? I am. I'm struggling right now with that, to be honest. Uh... I know, you're usually Hulk smash, Hulk smash. It gets it done. <laughs> well, no. don't Hulk smash this part because this seems a little bit delicate. Are you dropping things? You know, when you have to work with precision, that's just gonna goes with the game. You, you know, drop things. It's unacceptable. Do you want a socket for that? No, no, I just did Michael, stick my tongue out. And it like helps align things. Whichever direction you need it to go, if you use your tongue and just gets it. Really? Yeah. It's kind of like the blind seeing eye thing. I know that's what I was getting ready to say. Like I could imagine, like if you can imagine, right? If you're looking at the screw, right? Imagine a tiny thin thread that goes betwixt the screw and attaches to my tongue. Yeah. And as I move my tongue, it moves the screw. Ooh. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, good thinking, Ryan. Into the right location. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. So Ryan, we got the, the big white uh, locking mechanism. All right, pulled that out. Whatever you do, don't throw spin it. Wait, you're supposed to throw the grenade, not the pin. <laughs> yeah, we'd be in trouble. I thought you were once in the military. No, I played one on TV. Oh boy, it's moving. It's stressing me out. It can't go that far. That's it, right? Yeah, dude. Works that baby back together. Make sure you. you so, are we still at what what percent chance of this working? Six or eight? I forgot what it was. Or, well, have, have it, has has it moved up? Maybe. No. Ten? Twelve? If anything has gone down. <laughs> All right. Sorry, what happened? Were you concerned about breaking that? I am now. <laughs> I am now. Oh, I'm glad I didn't. Jeez. You don't have to say that stuff while I'm after, you know, you can save it. Listen, I was just asking a question. It was a simple question. All right, Ryan, so we have this is all installed, right? So now we're going to do the plate for the airbag. Yeah, and uh, all this other stuff. So we'll just move this all through here, and then line that guy up again, mm -hmm. and then we need our screws, different Torx bit, remember now, you gotta go back to your T25, don't, don't try this one now, you won't get nowhere with it. You sound like a female southerner. Honey. Like if if Medea was a female, is, Me is it Medea a female? No. Wait, what? 
Medea's not real. <laughs> I said, I quit. I, I can't handle that. You mean to tell me Medea is not a real Medea? It's Amanda Dia? Medea's Amanda Dia? <laughs> I don't even. I don't want to know. I don't even want to know about that. My little heart won't be able to handle it. Tyler Perry, you lied! <laughs> Use the tricker. Woo! We had us what you would call a little bit of a fear factor moment. Why? Because I also thought I was a stripped out the screw. <laughs> but it wasn't as bad as I thought. Guys, listen, this here is a snap-on screwdriver, so yes, it's doing the job, but you have to give your firstborn and two kidneys for it. Okay, so make sure you contemplate, is it necessary? It's a nice... I'm glad you got to use it once. I'm glad. This is probably only the other... Only what uh, one other time it's been used. <laughs> Look at it. The first time it was used was probably on the demo. <laughs> the demo, <laughs> like when it came off the line and they tested it. No, no, no. When oh. the guy demoed it to you and said, "Hey, man, you need a pistol screwdriver. <laughs> Check it out. You can pistol screw drive." And you're like, "Heck yeah! Give it to me. Seventeen thousand. I'll take three. I didn't care about the screwdriver. I just like that you could store the uh, torque bits in the handle. I like that too. It's nice, right? All right, so now the big question is, is, did it start? Will it work? Did it work? Will, did, will, will it start? Yeah, mm. the question is, will the D-pad work or, and, will the uh, airbag let go, go off? I'm going to be optimistic, Jason. All right. We're on a good run. We're coming over the hill, yep. you know, crescent, into the plateau. We're not, you know, dealing with the, the, the waves being tossed and what yeah. I think, I think this isn't going to be it. <laughs> you don't, you said, Wait. what'd you say? You this don't, is going to be it. Oh, I thought you said, I think this isn't going to, isn't. That's what I said. All right, hey, let's look at the battery. All right, it started. That's good. Airbag light's still on. What about your D-panel? That's working. And the airbag light is gone. Yep. I'd say that was definitely our problem. Right? Yeah, and our D-pad works. I mean, guys, we actually fixed something correctly. Whoa, hey, five, five. Here I come, <laughs> Ford Tech. <laughs> we have no no errors up here, right? No, zero errors, except so, our doors are open. So I think the only thing we lack is we're gonna hook up the Force scan to this and see. And pull everything and clear all the DTSs. Make sure that's all clear, and then we're ready for inspection. DTCs. DTCs. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Drivers, these are all here before. These three were all here before. They were. Clear those man pajamas out. Let's try. All right, so let's click on it. Let's clear it. Please set uh, HS switch to HS. Click OK. Please cycle ignition on and off. On, off. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you got in the middle, middle? We don't have no gold. We don't fix that, Jack. We don't know yet. You haven't hit okay. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! Would you just look at it? No, 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 no. no. And that is the first time since touching this daggum possessed vehicle <laughs> that we have ever had it say none. That's ever. Oh, that's incredible. Well, as you can see, once again, we fix everything. <laughs> yeah, we do. Now we don't fix it quick. We're right the first time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We would love it if you hit that subscribe button right now and that bell. It's about down the corner somewhere. And that will alert you of any new videos that we have. We have new ones coming out really soon. Uh, thank you so much for your support. 
We are closing in on 700 subs. We really need your help to get us over that. Wow. Spread the word. Hey, something else you guys could do, spread the word, is buy a t-shirt. Heck yeah. Uh, we don't hardly Because neither make... of us are wearing one right now, I so know. you should. We hardly make any money on those at all. But our hope is, is to make a little bit of money and maybe give some shirts away. Yeah. Help us out, would you? And um, as you guys saw, it's running. It's back together. So stay tuned for next episode, and we'll see you next time. Jammer, I